I ain't gonna lie, bro. Broly, Broly with the sh Broly, OG Broly is the shit, bro. OG Broly with the shit. I like new Broly, but OG Broly with the shit. That nigga would have scraped us menace just to be a fucking menace. Like, the nigga didn't have no fucking. Nigga didn't care about that. Like, he was a menace. He was Majin Buu before we had Majin Buu. Then, top of all, the motherfucker was a saying. So he just had no choice but to get stronger. What the nigga. In the DVD franchise, you know, got three moves. Back then, had three moves back to back to back. Like, this nigga was fuck that just. Ah, he was just that fucking goaded, bruh. I'm just saying. But then look at this right here. It's a four on one. Now, you see, any other day, you see a four on one, somebody about to get their ass jumped. But now, Broly hit him with that Uno reverse card, bruh. <laughs> he said, Y'all about to get jumped by me and me alone, bitch. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And a new challenger is approaching to be judged and to join this council of sacred gods. Now this man needs no introduction. And my God, if he makes it, we're gonna need a bigger table because his big ass is gonna take up at least three seats by himself. <laughs> but yes, it is finally time to welcome the legendary Giga Nigga 9000 himself. Broly. Now, now we all know Broly's a menace. I mean, even though his original backstory is stupid as fuck. Well. Like, like for real, y'all. The original Broly movie, like he he had the stupidest backstory I've ever heard in my life. Thank God they fixed that in the super movie, yo. <laughs> but no, we're not here to hear any of that backstory, no bullshit. We are here to see this big ass, tall ass, 7-Eleven ass motherfucker wholesome niggas. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck, and it is time to see if this man is worthy to be sat at the round table of Black Air Force activity. So without further ado. <clears throat> <clears throat> Exhibit A. This man beat the hell out of four Super Saiyans and a Namek at the same <laughs> damn time. I'll tell y'all this, this might be one of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history. Like this man literally ran everybody's fade. Like they couldn't even jump him, bruh. Look how he just dodges all this shit with no effort, giving zero fucks in the process. Hey, but yo, I ain't gonna lie though, at the beginning of the movie, I didn't think he was gonna be all that. I mean, when you first see the dude in his base form, I mean, come on y'all, just look at his ass, bruh. With this long pencil ass neck, motherfucker look like an inbred shirt out of Central Alabama. Hey yo, this man looks high as a kite, bruh. Like this nigga look like he in his own world at the moment. So when I was a kid, I was like, alright, this is gonna be some easy work for my boy Goku. Nobody could be Goku, right? <laughs> Uh, it's okay, it's okay, he just getting warmed up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Someone help! <laughs> Oh God, God damn it, stop! <laughs> yeah, this man was running everybody's fade with no effort, bruh. But you wanna know what Broly's greatest feat is in my eyes? This man made Vegeta, a member of the round table of Black Air Force activity, a bitch. Like, yo, my nigga didn't even wanna fight him, bruh. He made Vegeta. Out of all the people, bruh, Vegeta shit bricks. Bro, oh my God. Had this nigga on his knees and everything, bruh. Gosh, if you don't get your sorry ass up, nigga, with your ba 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 ba, I'm loving it. Ass hairline, I'm gonna revoke your ass from this goddamn council. Damn, you lucky this movie ain't canon, nigga. Shit, I was gonna have to put up a poll to revoke your Black Air Force energy license, bro. <laughs> this is goddamn unacceptable. But you know what? I'll let it slide just this once. But if I catch you doing some bitch shit like this ever again, your ass is getting revoked, nigga. <clears throat> but anyways, I feel. I be, be with you like, God damn, that childhood legend fucking too. This nigga here? Damn, this nigga strong. Fuck. So bad for these little green people, bro. This man Broly just murked they planet for no reason. I mean, this is how this basically went down, bro. Roll the clip. Oh, look at the little green niggas trying to do some rebellious ass shit. I got a question for y'all. Is that your planet right there? Yeah, why? <laughs> nigga, fuck your planet. Oh shit, what that nigga doing? Oh shit, my hand slipped. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at this vicious ass WWE style clothesline, bruh. 
Like this dude literally picked Trunks' ass up off the ground with his arm and slammed his ass in the wall, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. This man Broly might have had some of the most terrifying quotes in anime history, dog. I mean, just listen to what this man says real quick. Kakarot, how much do you love your son? This man is out here threatening kids, bruh. Kakarot, how much do you love your son? Hell no, bruh. That's how you know you're dealing with some of them psychopath ass niggas, dog. Look at him just eat this knee to the jaw, bruh. Dude just ate that. <laughs> Bam. Like, he only needs one move, bruh. Stick out your damn arms and just move forward. And yo, this man was just battering Goku, bruh. But you know what? I give Goku props, bruh. At least he was still fighting him. Not like your bitch ass would be <laughs> for you to get off your ass. You see, it sucks when your favorite character gets bitched out like this. But then look at this right here. It's a four on one. Now, you see, any other day, you see a four on one, somebody about to get their ass jumped. But nah, Broly hit him with that Uno reverse card, bruh. He said, y'all niggas about to get jumped by me and me alone, bitch. I mean, yo, look, look at this. Look, look at this. The disrespect. His arms are crossed and he is smiling while they're doing respect. His arms are. Look, look at this. The disrespect. His arms are crossed and he is smiling while they're doing this shit. And look at this man Piccolo, bro. He came in trying to attack Broly. Nah, he ended up hurting himself from trying to attack him, bro. And, and yo, look at this. This man is moving like a damn freight train. Imagine you are in a dark alley and then you see this shit coming at your ass. Look <laughs> how <laughs> he just kicks Piccolo out the way, bro. <laughs> Kick the shit out of his ass, bro. It was like this man Piccolo was just roadkill on the road and Broly just ran his ass over. And here go Vegeta again, looking like a bitch. This man really had to pick his sorry ass up and drag his ass all the way out here, bro. Oh my gosh, Vegeta, you pressing my motherfucking buttons, my nigga, and you don't seem acting like a bitch. You supposed to be the hardest nigga in the Z Fighters, bro. And you out here getting caught lacking. Like this man Piccolo had to give him a whole ass pep talk. And then this man Broly did the most savage thing I've ever seen in my life he walked through a kamehameha oh my god not even a scratch in this nigga is laughing look at this man goku's face bro this just says it all what the <laughs> fuck is we doing so bro vegeta i mean goku was like man we finna die vegeta finally grew up here and decided to attack thank god but we we all know what was gonna happen <laughs> At least he tried. That's all I'm gonna say. And then this man killed his pops. He crushed him in that small ass escape pod, then threw his ass to goddamn Narnia. Like he chucked that bitch. Like what is that Olympic sport where like they twirl around and like they chuck the fuck out of that ball? Discus, yeah, 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 discus. He played discus with his pops as the goddamn ball. Nigga set a galactic record. And then he started jumping on this man like a damn trampoline. Oh my lord. Have mercy, bro. Do I even have to go on to exhibit B? I, I mean, I mean, why not? So, yeah, that was exhibit A. So, uh, I guess we'll do exhibit B. I mean, he don't need it, but we'll do exhibit B. So, <clears throat> exhibit B. This man came back from the brink of death to beat the shit out of Goku's kids and his daughter in law in a younger version of Trunks again. Oh my god, this shit gotta stop, bro. In a young death to beat the shit out of Goku's kids and his daughter-in-law in a younger version of to beat the shit out of Goku's kids and his daughter-in-law in a younger version of Trunks again. Oh my God, this shit gotta stop, bro. Broly, Broly, Broly. I don't know what this man Goku did to piss you off so much. I mean, was his crying that damn loud? Like my nigga, you should have just called a noise complaint or some shit. Like he pissed him off to the point that the only words that this man can say at this point is Kakarot. And oh my gosh, bro, I felt so bad for Goten, bro. This is why you should never get the same haircut as your father. And then, oh, poor Trunks as well. Like this man already oh. beat up his future self. So he said, you know what? I'm gonna beat up your present self now. Mm. But Dell also got slaughtered, but I mean, at least it wasn't as bad as a spoken bitch ass whooping. Oh my God. Damn. Now that is one of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history, hands down. Then Gohan had to get his ass whooped again. He probably had PTSD after last. <laughs> That's how he got his face dragged. <laughs> like, my guy, like, look at this. He is like 
bending his spine right now. Then he gave him the nastiest bear hug of all time. <laughs> And I love how the only way they could beat this man was the power of plot. Bro, I have a question. What if I were Piccolo and down Vegeta was? Yeah, uh, we're gonna need a bigger table. Cause this man has clearly earned his spot on The only way they could beat this man was the power of plot. Yeah, uh, we're gonna need a bigger table. Cause this man has clearly earned his spot on the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like this is savagery on another level. But I am not talking about Bio Broly. That 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 movie was some ass cheeks, I'm sorry. And even though Super Broly is a way, way, way better written character than Z Broly, Z Broly just had that just savage. Z? That just ruthless ass aggression. Like every time you saw this man on the screen, you knew somebody was about to get their ass body. So yeah, uh, Broly, Broly is a menace. He made this table with ease. We only needed two exhibits. So I mean, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, if you see anybody running down the street or running down an alley looking like this, just do yourself a favor and just cover up your booty cheeks. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, skedaddle. <laughs> Thank you.